We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to talk about this teacher. Her video has been posted on social media. And a lot of people are weighing in on it. And I want to talk about it. Her name is Jennifer Clay. She's a 29-year-old teacher. And she's from Baltimore, Maryland. She's a humanities teacher. And she teaches the 7th and 8th grade. Um, the school that she's currently working at is called Baltimore Freedom Academy. And so basically, she's teaching these kids the lyrics to J. Cole. She's having discussions on Donald Trump, immigration. And she's also talking about colorism. So her topics are very interesting, but of course they're causing a bit of controversy. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these videos of Miss Clay talking to her students. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Uh -huh. Can you read that again with life, please? The, the only real revolution, revolution is the one that had been decided. So who can tell me what that means? After uh, everything we discussed easy. today about J. Cole's like, song. It's kind of like internal growth or like changing yourself as you grow older. Like, um when you change your opinions or change your point of view on something. So what is he saying you have to do before you can actually make a revolution outside in our society or in our communities? Yes, ma'am? Change yourself. Change yourself. Nikki? Uh, so I think it means you have to like learn about the truth that people are always trying to hide. Exactly. Yourself. Forbidden what? Knowledge. Beautiful. First of all, let's keep it funky. None of us were actually Americans, even though we are now, everybody that is American is, in fact, an immigrant. So even Trump, his, his wife, his whole family, all of us, we're not even immigrants. Really, we're not immigrants, because we were actually stolen. So we were, we are, I ain't even gonna go there right now. Let's, let's not even go. This is not about us right now, okay? <laughs> but, but, I mean, we know this, we were enslaved. But the point is, everybody that came here, the people that stole us, and brought us here were immigrants. This was not their country first. They were all Europeans. They were all right. Europeans, Mama. You so got we that right. Mama, you got that right. Was and they was here. Three. Where well, I thought light skinned girls were prettier because I was always the black, ugly girl. Because, like, you can look at all the lighter skin complexions and everybody's in love with them and their face and everything. And it's like, well, dang. Is this because I'm dark skinned, I'm not pretty? I'm not. I always thought I wasn't, because that's what people told me. Who it's told you that? But you Who are. told you you weren't pretty? You are pretty. Well, she is pretty. You need to do 10 seconds of compliments to her. Go. You don't really need to. Go ahead. Like your I deck like is you. too big. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. 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 Right, you have a pretty smile. Yeah. You have a good personality. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you are Yo, like, you I is pretty. I love your brilliance. I love your creativity. I, like I love when you sing. You. Right. I love yeah, how caring you are. I love that Bob stay on fleek. Oh, don't cry. I love how vulnerable you are. Yo, I, you I can't get up. I can't get up. I love your tears, oh. how shiny they make your face. It's okay. Whoa. Oh. Oh.
Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys just saw Miss Clay talking to her students. You guys also saw some of the comments and what people were saying on social media. Now, I also want to remind you guys that Miss Clay is not only 29 years old, but that she also holds a PhD degree as well, okay? So this woman is very smart. She's very educated. And I can see where some parents are kind of mixed and they feel like, you know what, we got these kids, you know, they already listen to enough hip hop. I don't want hip hop being taught in the classroom. She needs to stick to conventional teaching methods. And I can see where some people are coming from, but I also feel like with conventional teaching methods, there's nothing wrong with other teaching methods as well. You have to find multiple strategies to reach different kids. Some children can be sat down and taught to just learn from a book and regurgitate a bunch of answers. Other children are more hands-on, and other kids like to have discussion. Now, I remember when I was in junior high, I remember I had a teacher, it was an after-school program. Um, it was one of the black teachers at our school. She decided to have an after-school program for girls, and it was about, I think it was about maybe seven to ten of us, and we would meet with her twice a week after school, and in that classroom, we learned so many different things. Now that I look back on it and I'm older, she was feeding us some consciousness, even though I didn't know the name of it at the time, but we would have have discussions like this woman is having with her classroom she would talk to us about colorism and she was a dark-skinned black woman and she would tell us about what she went through being dark skin and in that group you know all the girls ranged in different skin tones from light skin to dark skin and you know we were being taught to appreciate each other and not to judge each other off of you know our skin tone our hair texture and things like that she was one of the first ones who taught me that a young girl who's light skin can no more help her skin tone any more than I can help my skin tone being dark skin. She also took us to go see the Black Panthers movie. Protected their own. Stop pushing poison in the neighborhood. Panthers, y'all worse than the police. They fought for respect. You brutalize our community, we will defend ourselves. They demanded justice. We're not anti-white, we anti-oppression. They were the soul. We're seizing the time. Behind the struggle. Power to the people. <laughs> Rated R. And I don't know if she had permission to take us, but let's just say she snuck and took us and she paid for the tickets, okay? And that was my first time ever hearing about the Black Panthers. I didn't know nothing about them, but she taught us about the Black Panthers because she was originally from California. So she taught us a lot of stuff, you know, that we wouldn't have known, you know what I'm saying, about consciousness. I remember she was teaching us about like J. Edgar Hoover and how he bought drugs into the country, you know, so I learned a lot from her. So I can definitely respect this type of teaching method, you know what I'm saying? Because you can, kids are smart, you know what I mean? People forget that kids are not stupid. You can be good in algebra, you you can be good in science, you can be good in English, because I got really good grades. But there's also nothing wrong with learning a different way, with being taught a different message, with being taught an unconventional stance. So I definitely agree with what she's doing, because like I said, I had a teacher like Miss Clay who did the same thing to me and a group of girls after school and we talked about so many things, things that I can't even talk about on camera that we talked about because it really could have risked her job. So I, I appreciate women like Miss Valencia Clay. I appreciate women like Miss Jennifer who taught me so much things back in junior high when she didn't have to, when she could have just stuck to a conventional method. I feel like a lot of those lessons that she taught me unconventionally have stuck with me after all these years. I don't know whatever happened to that woman but I would love to thank her so I'm glad to see a teacher like this you know stepping up and teaching folks a whole different way and letting these kids be able to express themselves to be able to express their frustrations and what they're going through because sometimes with young people all they need is an outlet because sometimes our parents are so busy working and our parents are going through their own issues that they don't really have time to deal with their kids and their own issues if there's an adult that's willing to do that and willing to allow kids to express themselves I say kudos to them. I have no issues with what this woman is doing as a teaching method. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Valencia Clay and how she's teaching in her classroom. Do you agree with her methods or do you feel like her methods are just, you know, she's doing too much and she needs to stick to the conventional way of teaching? And then how do you feel about the discussions that she's having in her classroom as well? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.